good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming here. Uh, and uh, before we start, I'd like to let you know that at 1600, uh, we'll be back with a technical briefing on the reforms. Uh, but uh, obviously, now the Secretary General will start with his opening statement, and then we'll have time for questions. Good afternoon. Uh, we have uh, just concluded a very successful meeting of uh, NATO defence uh, ministers. Um, we will do what it takes to protect the people of Libya. We are determined to fulfill the United Nations mandate and uh, provide the resources that are needed for as long as they are needed. We have restated our commitment to Afghanistan. Um, this remains our uh, top operational uh, priority. And uh, together with uh, our partners, we are making uh, clear progress. I saw that progress myself uh, when I uh, recently visited Kabul and uh, Herat. Uh, in July, Afghans will take a security lead in seven provinces and districts, uh, representing 25% of the population. That is a significant start to transition. And uh, I'm confident that we can complete it uh, by the end of uh, 2014. Aujourd'hui, les ministres de la Défense sont convenus que la FIAS aiderait à consolider et à approfondir l'état de droit. Les Afghans veulent que leurs différends soient résolus rapidement et équitablement. Et notre mission de, de soutien à l'état de droit permettra aux organisations et aux experts civils de rendre cela possible. Nous avons en outre entendu euh, les pays contribuant à la FIAS réaffirmer avec force leur engagement à long terme à l'égard de l'Afghanistan. Notre partenariat durable avec l'Afghanistan continuera après la fin de la transition et déterminera la forme que prendra notre engagement politique et militaire. But this meeting was not just about current uh, operations, uh, but also about the future. And uh, we have uh, reached a significant milestone towards the alliance we need to defend us against the threats of today and the threats of tomorrow. At our summit uh, in Lisbon, we decided to make our alliance leaner, more effective and uh, more efficient at a time of tight budgets for all our nations. Today we have delivered. Reform has become a hallmark of this alliance. We have agreed to streamline the agencies uh, which run individual NATO uh, projects, such as strategic airlift. As a result, uh, our agencies will become simpler in structure while staying effective uh, in their work. And we have agreed to reshape NATO's uh, command structure making it more efficient, more compact, and more deployable. This is one of the important lessons uh, from our operations in Libya and Afghanistan. And uh, we are not just learning those lessons, but putting them into practice. Together, these reforms will make NATO more affordable, offering better value for our allies' money, they will make NATO more effective, focusing on the capabilities and command systems we need. And above all, they will deliver an alliance that is fit for the future. That also means dealing with emerging challenges. We have agreed uh, on a new uh, cyber defense policy, uh, which will define and direct NATO efforts in defending the new frontier of uh, cyberspace. 
And uh, we have taken an important step forward uh, by approving a missile defense action plan. It outlines how this capability will be implemented uh, over the next decade. It is our ambition uh, to achieve an initial capability by our next summit next spring in the United States. The threat uh, of uh, ballistic missile proliferation is real and credible. It is our duty uh, to create a real and credible defense. This is a true team effort. Uh, nations will contribute in many ways, uh, but it will cover all NATO territory and populations. This is collective defense in action. Um, finally, uh, let me also take this opportunity to, to thank uh, Secretary of Defense um, Bob Gates and uh, ISAF Commander General uh, David Petraeus uh, for their uh, outstanding uh, service. This will be their uh, last NATO defense ministerial in their current uh, positions, and I would like to express uh, my appreciation for their tremendous uh, dedication and contribution uh, to our alliance. And uh, with that said, I uh, welcome your questions.